Pasta is one of my favorite weeknight meals. Um, it's really fast, it's really satisfying, and I'm not afraid of carbs, so I am always ready to jump into a bowl of pasta. But I think red sauce gets a little bit boring, and so one of my favorite things to do in the spring is to use all of these tender, young, green spring vegetables to make a really delicious, soft uh, greens and, and light cheese um, sauce for pasta. Um, and I'm showing you how to do it today. Um, one of my favorite things in spring is green garlic. This is green garlic. Looks a lot like a leek. This is a spring onion. It looks like a lot like green garlic. There is a huge difference though, and the best way to tell, if you can't quite tell visually, green onions usually have a little bit more of a bulb, but occasionally, like, this is green garlic too, and it has a bulb also. But if you just nick it with your knife and smell it, there'll be no way to, to deny it. This is definitely garlic. It has a nice garlicky smell, but it's not nearly as intense as regular bulb garlic because this is young, and so it hasn't gotten as dark and as intense in flavor. Um, the way you prepare green garlic is really easy. It's a lot like preparing a leek. You want to chop off the leaves. These are actually a little bit floppy, so I definitely don't want to use them. And you also want to chop off the end, and then you're going to want to split it lengthwise and give it a really thorough rinse because all of these layers in here, when the plant is shooting up through the earth, it, um, it traps dirt and you occasionally find grime and little stones and stuff in there, and that's not what you want in your food. So just once you split it lengthwise, rinse it really quickly to just make sure you get rid of any loose dirt, nice and clean. And then you just want to cut it up in little thin slices um, like you would any leek or you know any onion or anything. I'm doing it fairly finely right now because I'm just going to saute this very lightly in a little bit of olive oil to toss with my pasta once my pasta is cooked. And my favorite vegetables to use in the spring are asparagus, peas, and fava beans in this dish. Um, they all actually go really well together. They all have kind of unique tastes and yet there's just this sense of green freshness in this dish that um, really speaks of spring and is really, it's also pretty good for you. I mean, it's a good way to sneak a bunch of vegetables into your diet if um, you sometimes are a little bit fearful of doing that on the side. So let me just finish cutting up all of this. And my favorite type of pasta to use is not a um, linguine or a capellini or spaghetti, but it's actually um, a shorter pasta called campanelle, which is a little flower-shaped pasta. It looks a lot, it looks like this. I'll show you guys. They're like these little sort of tubes, and what happens when you cook them is they get a little bit bigger, and then when you toss peas with it, occasionally the little tube will catch a little pea, and you'll get a pea inside your bite with your cheese and everything, and it's really delicious, and um, it just coats really nicely. Um, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and bring my garlic over to my saute pan. I just have a non-stick saute pan, and I'm going to put a little olive oil in and just gently, just warm it up a little, kind of get the flavors into the oil and make it a little bit more tender. key about this dish is doing it all while the pasta is still hot. Ooh, don't want that in there. So what I've done is I sauteed my asparagus and my green garlic and my peas and my little fava beans just together in a little bit of olive oil. If you don't even want to sauté them, you can just throw the asparagus and the peas and the favas in with the pasta while it's cooking in the last two minutes and it'll be just fine. So I just scrape it all together in a bowl. We want all of that olive oil. It may even, we may even add a little extra, so um, don't be shy of scraping every last bit of it in. Smell that green garlic. You can smell the sweetness of the peas. It smells good. And then I like to add a generous amount of ricotta cheese. Um, ricotta is really sweet and light. And I'm using whole milk here because I feel like it tastes better, but it comes in non-fat versions and low-fat versions, so if you're really worried about that, just use whatever version you like, but because it's such a mild cheese, it goes really well with all these delicate spring vegetables. 
I probably should have a bigger bowl because look, this is just falling everywhere. All right, lesson number one with this dish. Always use a bigger bowl than you think you need. So I'm tossing the pasta, the hot pasta, with the vegetables and with the ricotta cheese, and the ricotta is starting to coat all of the pasta. It's looking really good. And then I like to add just a couple of little extras. I like to grate in a little bit of lemon zest. I have a Meyer lemon right here. It actually looks like an orange, but um, any lemon will do that you have. This just adds a little brightness to all of it. Um, don't drop it in the pasta. <laughs> um, and it just kind of brightens up the whole dish and makes it really fresh and delicious. And then I also sprinkle in just a little bit of kosher salt and grind in kind of a lot of pepper. And then I like to add just a little bit of fresh parsley at the end. And toss all of it to If you want to add a little Parmesan cheese to kick it up even more, that would be great. I think it's just fine without it, or you can just pass the Parmesan at the table. You got a nice, healthy green spring tribute in a quick weeknight meal. Doesn't that sound good?